What is going on everybody? It is Frank the Tank and welcome back to the PBA Pro Bowling 2021 series on my channel. I know it's been a while since that last video and I think it's pretty obvious. It's no secret why I stalled on uh, making that last video and the, you know you guys can see the Belmo Spur Ball videos that I made and um, of course uh, having to put together the announcement for the uh, Bowling by Jason Belmonte Champions League coming back. Uh, very excited for that uh, and yeah, uh, but luckily now we, we no longer have to stall on that. We can get back to the bowling. But before we do that, you know, I don't know why, but I had the urge to play some Tetris real quick. So that, I, I'm going to play just one game and then we'll get into the bowling. So let's see what we do here. And yeah, I don't remember doing that. But anyway, we're going to play one game on this, this special theme that they laid out here. Uh, I don't know how long it's they're going to be laying this out, but check it out. It's like Super Mario World 3D or something. That's pretty cool. I don't know what this is for. I don't know if it's some sort of contest, but they do this every now and then. The last time, a couple months ago, it was like a Kirby theme. So, uh, yeah, I suck at this. You know, I really do. I can't even get past like the the the. I can't even get past the, the top 50. That, like, I, I'm really bad at this game. I'm I'm so slow at it. Like this game requires some serious quick thinking. Like I feel like your IQ has to be super high. I don't know, man. You definitely have to think fast, that's for sure, but, okay. That there that I just did, those quick clearances, that is not what you want to do. Uh, from what I've heard, what you want to do is actually, like, build, you know, uh, uh, like, stack them pretty high to get some Tetris line clears. That's how you really do some damage, but uh, I'm doing the complete opposite of that right now. And I'm actually going to hold that. Okay, whatever. We can still build, I think. Put that there, that's nice. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we'll build that. That. Hey, this is coming along pretty well. I know I'm going to get hit with something right now. We'll put that there for now. Okay. Okay. Um, already I'm wasting too much time. Okay. You know what? We'll do it now. Yeah, I like that. Why did I do... You see what I mean? I just messed up. Wow, now I got to undo that. Okay, I gotta figure out a way. We'll do another one, back to back. I like it. Okay. Beautiful. Um, no, we'll put that there. Make it easy on ourselves. Save that. Okay, okay. Um, no, we gotta start low. I I'm not gonna build too high, otherwise that's not gonna be good for me. Okay. Uh, do I really want to risk that? Yeah, yeah, I do, actually. Okay. Put that where it needs to... Actually, yeah, I didn't think of that. Okay. And it didn't occur to me that I already had that. Okay, whatever. Okay, we're getting pretty low, and somebody's going to try to attack me, I believe. Uh, okay, we got too many of those. Too many openings where we're going to have to use a one of those blue lines, so we gotta come up with something here. Uh, what am I going to do? Actually, we're gonna do that, and we'll hold that red, even though I don't want it. There we go. We'll work our way out of that. Beautiful, okay. Okay, now I don't need that anymore. Um, that'll be fine, that'll be fine. Dang it! What have I done? Okay, whatever. What are we going to do here? We'll put that there, even though I probably shouldn't have. Christ almighty. This is going to get difficult already. had to do it. I should have saved it, but I had to, I felt like I needed to do that. No, wait. I could do that. And then that, and then that, that. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I love to see. Okay? Uh-huh. Oh, dear God. I need I need one of those purple thingies now. There we go. Brilliant. Okay. I don't want to put that there. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Uh, what do I do? Screw it. Just screw it. Okay. 
Save that. I'm gonna have to risk it. Whatever. Uh, okay, fine. I'll make it work. No, that won't work. Ah. That, that was a very stupid idea on my part, but whatever. Um. I may be onto something here, folks. Wait, can I? No, I cannot. Okay. Love those purple thingies, whatever you call them, because you could just about put them anywhere. Perfect. See, I'm already losing it. Like, this stuff is moving too quickly, and I can't think quickly. This is where that quick thinking starts to come into play. Um, okay. Ah, what am I doing? Why did I do that? Oh my goodness. Okay. No! No! What the heck? I didn't do this! You see what I mean? The game moves too quickly for me. Ah, my brain. That was ridiculous. Oh dear God. I couldn't take that. That last few seconds, I had that. You saw, I was gonna put something there to clear all that up. But it all happened too quickly. Oh man, that that you gotta be freaking lightning fast at this. But that was not a bad showing. 22? I don't know if that's my highest though, to be totally honest. It probably is, but hey, that was pretty good. What did I get? No KOs, not surprised. Two Tetris line clears. I gotta get better at this, honestly. Okay, now we can get back into the bowling, but before we do, it looks as if we have an update. Interesting. I don't know what it is, but we've downloaded something, and uh, I hope it's something good. I hope it makes the game better. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention this. They finally fixed this part here. Remember how I mentioned in the very first video where that thing would glitch out and I'd be stuck here for minutes? They finally fixed it. Thank you, Lord. They've listened to my prayers. Okay, guys, so here we go. We we're about to get this thing started. I don't know what was in that update, but uh, I don't re really want to be sticking around to just, you know, try to figure out what it was. So anyway, here we are at the World Series of Bowling. Uh, we still have uh, the Bear Finals and the World Championship Finals to take care of. Uh, the qualifier I did off camera because obviously that is way too time consuming and I took care of it. Uh, but uh, I do, I think it's all coming back to me now. Yeah, four game elimination. Uh, we have to take on Bill O'Neill. We're top seed, so all we got to do is beat Bill and we're there. And uh, I, I, uh, yeah, it is starting to come back to me now. Uh, if I recall, uh, I said I was going to finally pick up the code block. And yeah, I just made a bunch of changes with my arsenal. I put away the idol because I, I don't want to keep using that ball. So, yeah, there it is. Let's see. Yeah, the code black, and then I picked up the rocket. Now that I know, uh, thanks to that little tip that you guys left me, month, like, a month back, I think, where I can, like, that, on the meter, you have to land in that green zone to have good ball speed or something like that. So, let's actually turn on the oil, and let's begin this. So, uh, I don't, I don't really... I did practice with this ball a little bit because I did not want to get, you know, just go into this thing without any kind of experience with this ball. Uh, it has like a, like a skid and then turn kind of thing, which I hate bowling balls like that. But we're just going to take a guess and go like that. Ah, oh, that was lucky. <laughs> but did you see that? It didn't grab at the friction immediately. That's what the code black does apparently in real life. Uh, yeah, it... it it skids out a little more after it comes off of the oil and then it turns 
So yeah, I'm not a fan of bowling balls like that. I, I really am not. But in real life, I actually am pretty good at using those. Like the nuclear cell, it does, uh, that, that's one of my favorites. It's always in my bag. I always take it to league. Um, it does that sort of thing where it skids out a little and then hooks. Uh, doesn't grab at the friction in, like too early. Uh, and that's what this code black does. So yeah, in video games, uh, when it comes to bowling, I do not. I'm not a fan of you know that skid flip kind of thing. Uh, I, uh, I do better with bowling balls that actually grab at the friction immediately after it comes off of the oil pattern. And now it seems we've caught a break as Bill O'Neill leaves at 3610. It won't surprise me if he picks it up though. Yep, there it is. Yeah, I got lucky, that's why. So I'm going to move left based on what I saw that last shot, just a pinch. And I'm going to go about there. I think that should work. Ah, I leave the 3610 as well. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Alright. No problemo. Okay, so I was about there, I would say. I'm gonna kick it a pinch more right. Yikes. Oh, the lucky, lucky break. Is that so, Robstone? What makes you so sure? All right, we'll just go from there and hope. Okay. Oh man, he found it. He found it. I could have run away with it already, but I just gave him the chance and now he's only behind by two pins. Damn it. Oh. Okay. I'm not going to go that far right anymore. I'm going to keep it about there, I would say. Oh, that was a great shot. Okay. Now I gotta try to do that again. I think it was there. Yes, okay. I was worried. I was very worried because, you know, I like I said, I practiced with the Code Black, but that was like weeks ago, and I hadn't played the game since. And, uh,. Like I said, I'm not a fan of bowling balls that, that don't grab at friction immediately, and the code black is the complete opposite of that, so... <sighs> doing, some, don't, doing good so far. Oh, he got so lucky with that. Come on. Oh yeah, that's a proper strike. Okay, Bill is putting me in a position where I need to keep striking because if I don't, I will open the door and he will take that opportunity to come in. So let's see, I think it was there. Let's get it, come on. I surprisingly have this on lockdown already. I was thinking to myself like, oh god, I don't know how to use this code black. I don't remember. And I do not remember ever practicing with the code black on this pattern either. Man, sit down, Bill. takes out eight pins, leaving the four and 10. 4.5% tour average on the 410, tough split to convert.
does not convert there. That's a really difficult one to pick up. You see your max scores here. Just a fractional miss down lane and boom! Right I feel like I've lost this match already because this is one of those things that at this level you can't make those mistakes or you will pay. That split is going to kill me. Look at that, already behind by 32. And I've been throwing a lifeline, however, will he convert it? Knowing the level that Bill plays at, he just might. What? God! Of course. That could have been it, man. Unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Oh my goodness, that looked like a fantastic shot. Yeah, I mean, that was so good. Really good. Everything about that was good. Except the result. Yeah, well, that's the dark side of bowling for you. You can still throw the best shots ever and the pins will go against you. That's bowling. That's one thing I really hate about bowling, is when you figure it out at the worst possible time. Wow. And I've lost another one, and that's another runner-up for me. Yay, strike out. Not like it means anything, though. Yep, that split is what killed me. And then that nine spare kind of also as well. Otherwise it would have been a little closer, but there we go. Second place. Although I will say, I, I'm pretty impressed that I managed to figure it out with the code black and get that kind of score. But here we go again. Uh, we got to go against Oscar Palerma. So we're going to have to beat him and then beat Butcheriff if we want to win this thing. I think I'm going to try using the rocket this time. I haven't used that ball yet. I've used enough of the idol. I haven't tried the pitch black because it's actually been not that great. Uh, kind of a letdown for me personally, but uh, here we go. So we're going to do that, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch, and I'm going to see if I can try to win with this rocket. And it's not going to be easy because I remember the stats for this ball were not really all that great, especially its control. <laughs> Dang, okay. That was a very, very lucky guess. Yeah, this is not gonna be an easy game because of him. I feel like he's super overpowered in this game because of his speed, his power. We all know. We all just know. See what I mean? I think I lost to him in the, at the previous video, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. I'm gonna adjust just a pinch left, knowing what happened in that last one, because I, I felt like it went a little, just a little bit high, so... I'm gonna do that. And I got it to the friction just a little bit too early. Alright. Dang it! Another 3610. 
Alright, give me another 3610, why don't you? That, I feel, is going to cost me dearly because of him! Okay, so I guess I have to move left a little more again. Damn, 28 miles per hour? That is a load of BS. He got that to the friction super early. He got that way right. How is that possible? How is that possible that he got that ball to the pocket? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that is what we needed. We needed to move left. But now I gotta repeat that shot. I feel like that was wrong. Ah! That looked like it went high. I'm behind by 12. God help me. God help me. This is not what I wanted. See that to the friction? This game is so glitched. That update, I, I was hoping for something, but no, I got nothing out of it. Oh man, that was tight. But that was a sign that I went high, but I got lucky that something came back to pick it up. So, can't do that again. Oh, that was tight. I don't know if you noticed it, but I, I literally like gave it just a slight little tweak left. And then I made sure that I tried to keep that ball in the oil as much as I possibly could. Because if I got it to the friction, it would definitely hook early and would not make it to the pocket. And Osku's on a hand ball. I'm behind by 32 now. Lucky me, but he's going to make that. That's the only way I stand a chance is if he misses it. But I don't see that happening. Of course he picks it up. When doesn't he? That was so lucky. Looked like a light hit and also kind of looked like it went high too. What a letdown. What a complete letdown. Why? I'm hurt. I'm very hurt. Oh. I think it's become apparent that I've lost yet another one. Am I ever going to beat Oscu Palermo? Okay, I know for a fact that he doesn't spare his seven pins that way. 
I thought I, I'm I'm pretty sure he only one hands his ten pin like his ten pins. Whoops. But it's not like it matters. I am so disappointed. Honestly. This ball is not easy to use. I picked the wrong ball for the wrong pattern, that's for sure. But there you go, I get third for that. Horrible. But there we go, we finally unlock the TOC. And from what I've heard, like, you have to, like... I don't, I don't know how this works, honestly. Yeah, I have no idea how this works. I, somebody in the comments of the last... Uh, of the last video told me what it's like uh, when you're playing on uh, this on the TOC and apparently it, it is a lot tougher because I guess you have to like qualify and then you have to win every game or something I can't remember okay I just I just read the comment it was from Snipe Gamer thank you by the way for spoiling it no I'm just messing with you uh, no he's uh, the one who pointed out that once I get to this which I have um, I have to qualify for the the step ladder, obviously, and it doesn't matter which place I get because uh, I have to win it in order to unlock the next one, which is the Elias Cup. So uh, there's no second, there's no third, fourth, or fifth. I have to win it in order to get to the Elias Cup. But that's going to be for another one. Uh, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed that little game of Tetris. Uh, Could have gone better, but unfortunately I messed up on that too. But anyway, there you go. I'm Frank the Tank. Uh, that was uh, the World Series of Bowling wrapped up. The next step, the TOC. We'll see how we do. Catch you guys in the next one. Later.